Blazers and the Pelicans. Great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. Great game. Anthony Davis, you know, look, uh, I was talking to you, you know, um, when, you know <coughs> when we weren't doing the show, and I was saying that I think Anthony Davis is going to average like 40 and 15 in the first round. I still believe that Anthony Davis is going to average 40 and 15 in the first round. I mean... Anthony Davis is a man-child possessed, bro. I couldn't imagine... Number one, could you would have could you have, would have imagined if Anthony Davis didn't have the growth spurt that he had and he was just like one of these like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys that was doing this shit when he was 6'4", six, 6'5", six, even defensively? Because his on-ball defense is you know, top eight in the, in the yeah, league. Yeah, but he wouldn't be AD if he wasn't... I mean, seven feet. Deep. I mean, well, no. yes. I mean, but he could still be able to dunk, and he would still be able. He would still be a great ball handler. Yeah. I actually think. I actually think AD. If, um, I actually think if you take away, um, you know, AD's, um, you know, height, I think AD would be more like a. He would be more like a, more like a, a Harden. With, no, oh, wait, 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 wait. Listen, 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 no. listen, listen. More like a. More like a, a hard and light on offense, but with the Jimmy Butler defensive uh, repertoire. No, I don't think AD would be in the league. No, I, you wild. I don't think he'd be you in the league. You don't think he'd be in the league? No. Why? He's got great vision for him even, to be that listen, big. Listen, listen, listen. Even, even look at how far his uh pro, his ranking jumped up from like his sophomore year when he was 6'6 six, six, to his senior year when, he, when you like 6'11. Like, no, that's a whole seven inches. He might be... In the league, but he might be a bench player or maybe in the G League. That that's no knock on him. But the the fact that you can do it, it would be a lot of guys who could do that at six five. It's not a lot of guys who could do that at six at fucking seven feet. Yeah, true. I mean, he's doing he's doing things that I've never like, seen. Like yo, that was like one play in and, which in which ahead. he got the ball, wrapped it. Oh yeah. I'm like yo, did yeah, yeah, he yeah. just get the ball and just wrap it? Which is what makes like Boogie's injury, man, bro. It sucks. If 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 look at me, if Boogie would if <laughs> like if Boogie would have got hurt, if Boogie would have got hurt, everybody would have been in a lot of trouble. Nah, I fully understand because AD, because even 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 AD talking about playoff Rondo. Yo, if yeah. Boogie wouldn't have got if if Rondo go if if Rajon, and Nico if Rajon Rondo was gonna go out there and give me seventeen motherfucking assists and Drew Holiday ain't gonna play defense like that. <laughs> Rondo was three or nine. <coughs> he was three or nine. Rondo, Rondo was the only player on the whole team with a negative plus minus for the game. The man had seventeen goddamn assists. He was out there dropping dimes, dropping, dropping dimes. Could you imagine? Nah, like with Boogie there, and if they would have still got Nico and had Nico off the bench, oh my God, everybody would everybody. everybody. Like I told you that I thought that they would have beat the Rockets in the first round if they would have played them more in the second round. Man. But now I think they're just a, a average team. I think Dame. I think they beat the Pelic. I mean the uh, the, uh, the uh, Blazers. No, I'm sorry. If you Dame, you if if you Dame, you can't lose this series. Shit, I think they losing. If you Dame and you lose this series, I don't know how you show up to Portland anymore. You you wanted to have a sit down with the owner so you can talk about you the future of the franchise. No, you you, still have a, you 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 hey you could bro because it's a situation like yo if um what about CJ CJ ain't play amazing all night either. Evan Turner, they was leaving Evan Turner. CJ completely. had more points than him. Listen, they he was took leaving. five less shots than him. Yeah, but they was yeah, but he didn't play amazing either, bro. Like nobody on this team yesterday really. Nurk is damn near can't play. Yeah, he can't play because yeah. he because once he gets switched out on AD, well, no, he 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 has to guard AD. So once AD goes to the perimeter, like what the fuck? Now when he came back in in the fourth, he did move his feet a little bit better. Maybe he was tired or something, but still. He damn they can't play. Evan Turner can't shoot nothing. Drew Holiday damn they don't even guard him. Whoever guarding Evan Turner basically is like playing free safety. They're like if Evan Turner want to shoot corner threes, fine. Which is why Uminu which couldn't is, shoot yesterday. I yes, don't know. Which is why. Which is why they're gonna be fine because Evan Turner went six of fifteen. Um, you know from the field. Aminu was three of seven. Aminu had a game. I mean, Aminu had multiple games this year where he had more than four threes. So they will be perfectly season. fine. Huh? In the regular season. What do you mean in the regular season? Aminu still playing thirty. He's still playing thirty minutes a game. He's still playing thirty minutes a game. I just, I just don't. Aminu hit. Aminu hit. Um, um, more than four three pointers. Let me see. One, two, uh. Three, four, five, six, seven. He had, he had, he had more than four three pointers, like five. I mean, like six or seven times this year in the game. So if you can get him to get hot and give you three three pointers, 
For a couple games, you'll be fine. Evan Turner is a liability, but that's why you have Zach Collins because you have Zach Collins because these are the situations where you're going to need to get him valuable minutes. And they still were giving him valuable minutes. It's just that as before, when I've been talking about all season long, where normally he'll get the opportunity to make a big shot that'll keep the momentum, um, you know, kind of, you know, um, kind of in their favor. The yeah. Blazers were trailing the entire game. Dame and CJ were awful, combined for three points for the first well, half. They, so they, they were, were terrible. They were well for 15 in the um, exactly. So they but, were terrible. So yes. all you need is a good game for them. Yes, the Pelicans but, still only scored 30 points in, in one quarter, and that was the third quarter. Even in the final period, the Blazers outscored them 32 to 22, and they still only won by two points. So yes, I mean, you're good. But you're few good. things. Yes, Dame and CJ played bad, but they were aided like hell by the defense of Drew and Etwan. It wasn't like they just came out there and just played bad. No, Drew and Etwan were playing great defense on them mm -hmm. all night. Drew Holiday is one of the best defensive guards in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Etwan is a solid defender. Even Rondo can play some defense. Like, they got some guys who can make it very difficult for them. Very difficult for them. Now, the one thing that does worry me about the Pelicans is sometimes they forget AD is on the court. That was oh, like come on, man. that was like a huh? Go ahead. That was like a three minute stretch in the fourth, in which I don't think AD touched the ball for like six straight possessions at the end of the game. It was like from four minutes left to I think he Let's scored. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Uh, Anthony <coughs> Davis uh, took uh, he took a jumper uh, and he missed a uh, a twenty two foot a uh, two point shot with five twenty eight left in the game. Then he make then he made a dunk with five minutes left in the game. Then, then after that, that he grabbed a rebound. Then after that he missed uh, a twenty foot. I'm sorry, he missed a twenty footer with three minutes left in the game. Uh, then after that he did not take another shot until <coughs> told you until fifty six seconds until twenty eight seconds. There you go. That's too long. Until twenty eight seconds left in the game, uh, he took <coughs> a, a three pointer, which was a twenty five foot three pointer. There you go. And that was when they were. Uh, up ninety three to ninety two. He didn't touch so, yeah. the ball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. never that. So so that's one thing that like that they had. I think that's part think, of. I think Rondo took a, a shot. Syndrome from Boogie though, because yeah. Boogie would be the other guy that would be touching the ball. But now it's Nico. But go I ahead. I think like Rondo took a shot. I think Drew. Well, Rondo had two pick and rolls. One he took it and made, and the other one he missed a layup. Mm -hmm. I think Drew had a couple turnovers. He took a shot. Yeah, Drew made a terrible pass. Terrible. Yeah, he but, made a couple terrible passes. Yeah, yeah, but there is never. Lil Ian made a three. <clears throat> he did. That, that was a huge three. A yeah. huge three that I did in not part. expect him to make. Um, but there's never a time in that situation in which AD shouldn't at least touch the ball. And those, that's your best player. Personal, I think top five player in the league. If you want to argue with me top three, I'm not mad at you. He got to touch the no, ball. No, he, he is. I mean, come on. Okay. Man. Look, look. I mean, I was going to put him at number three, but I didn't know if you was going. Now, I got Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. No, I'm joking. I got Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and probably Anthony Davis. Okay. And then after that, I put Steph and then James Harden. Yeah, that's why I got it. Yeah. But that, but that move that he made when he caught the ball, put it behind his back, and finished it, I was like, yo, I've dabs. And I don't really think people knew how incredible that shit was. Because I don't, I don't think people talked enough about that. I didn't see no highlights of that. I don't, I don't think people talked enough about that move. That move was fucking crazy for somebody his size. But regardless... I just think, yo, in this um, series, man, like I, I, I think the Blazers is going home. I don't think the Blazers. I think going the Blazers going I home. Think, I think the Blazers are far from going home. I think, I think Dame the rebounds and they win two games in a row.